What is it? I have a question, friend. What is it, Molten Fox? Don't you think that they will find out eventually? That you and the Grand General are here? Yes, but also about who you were. I've already told them that I used to be an OPA agent. And what the plan is, partially. No, not that. I meant when you went by the name Rinaldo and gave them the anomalous objects. They don't need to know that information. And even if they did find out, I'm sure they will understand. They barely know you, and yet you believe in them so much. Do you have a problem with that? No. I am just intrigued to why. Because they're good people, like you, me, and the Grand General. They have their flaws, sure. But we all have problems. I guess you're right. Talking about problems, how have you been with it? It's been- Boss! Boss! Get back! What are you just doing there? Do something! You don't need to call me boss. You can call me by my real name. Understood, but Boyd. Torn. It's getting worse. I know. But... This will all be worth it in due time. That is only possible if you are able to attain the Omnicore and retain the form. I know that already. On the topic of the fractured Omnicore, the liminal is opening further. Then it's soon that we'll be able to go into the liminal. I don't know how long I'll be able to retain its current form. It still needs to grow bigger. And we're running out of anomalous objects. Don't we still have one? Shouldn't that be enough? We did. But it got sent away like all the others. <sighs> Why didn't you tell me? I... I believed it to be most beneficial at the time, due to your current state. Fine, I understand, but stop keeping secrets from me. We're a team. We have a shared goal. Understood, sir. I'm void torn. I will get back to work. I understand, friend. But... I'm not the only one keeping secrets from people I know. I know what you're doing. We all do. I will tell them. Just not now. I don't want to ruin the last couple days they have before. Things get worse. Normal. Because that's what their days have been recently. I know. And they haven't exactly been getting along, have they? I know! I don't need you to hit me over the head with it! I'm just saying, friends don't usually do what you have done to them. I get it! I don't need you to keep telling me all these things that I already know. If I could have changed all of this, I would have. You don't need to get so angry. Ah! You have to add the friend at the end. I don't get what you mean, friend. No, of course you don't. Ah. <sighs> what? What? Intriguing. Um, rogue agent. What? What are you doing? Shit. 
How much did you hear? Well, actually, I didn't hear a lot. But, you know, I, I heard you shouting. I don't know what about specifically. But I did hear you shouting, and then I came in to check on you. And then I saw... Anyway. Ah, fuck! If I were you, I would go and catch up with him. I know! Ah! Again, with a friend. <laughs> Wait! Stop! No, you're evil. I'm not. Just let me explain. <laughs> no! You're, you're lying! No! I'm not evil! Just open the door! <laughs> um, no, no, no! You're lying! Just open the door! No! 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 no. no. I, 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 I'm not being tricked again! Uh, just open the door! Again. Understood. Please don't kill me. Roxy, I didn't mean for that to happen. Why are the evil ones with you? Are... Uh, you with them? Hey, we're not evil! General... Yes, sir. I mean, Boyton. Anyway, Roxy, please listen to me. We're not evil, and we're not trying to hurt you. Well, that's what someone trying to hurt me would say. If we wanted you dead, I would have killed you the moment you made your presence known. How? I could have shot you with a 900 volt bolt of electricity. Cool! So, if you're not here to kill me, or do anything bad, what are you doing? And why are you good now, like the, the two robot? Why are you good? We no longer follow our base programming. They're not trying to do anything bad. They're helping me with my research into the liminal. Oh, cool. So, uh, when Terence gets back, I'll tell him about all of this. Don't! I... I mean... Don't tell him. Why? He's... He's not as understanding as you are. He... May be a problem. I don't want anything... Bad to happen. Do you understand? Um, yeah. But, uh, what was with the whole <laughs> thing? It's a repercussion of the experiments. I'm sorry that it came out. I can't hold it back anymore. At least my by myself. That's why Molten Fox has been helping me. I'll keep it tippity top secret. I promise. I pinky swear. He doesn't have a. Yes, we all realize that. Thank you for understanding. Well, yeah, of course. As you said, I am very understanding and forgiving and cool and awesome. You didn't even say like half of those things. The awesome and cool part was implied. I use implied, right? Right? Um. Yes. Nice! Anyway, I'm gonna go and do something. What are you gonna do? I have no idea. We. Why am I always surrounded by idiots? Maybe because you are one, friend. You know, adding friend at the end of an insult doesn't make it all right. I don't know what you mean. It wasn't an insult. It was merely stating a fact. You piece of sh- Could you two please stop bickering? Understood, friend. Ah, uh, fine. Void torn. Where the hell did you come from? From over there. Yes, thanks for stating the obvious. Then you should probably not ask the obvious. So your name's Voitorn? Yes. Why? Because it's really cool. Uh thanks. 
Anyway, bye. Anyway, I'm gonna go and finish the calculations. You know, you're still withholding information from them. I know. Do you want to bring us up any more times? No. I've already advised you on what I would do. Sir. What is it? We received a distress beacon. From where? From Multiverse ZX Universe YL0. It's... him. We believe so. Understood. Shall I inform the High Admiral, sir? No. I will do it.